I'll, I'll go straight to my under underappreciated performer, Rob, because it does come in this game. And, you know, I know there's, there's Premier League games we'll get to as well and there's yeah. some other incidents. But, <clears throat> and maybe he is appreciated more than maybe what I think. But Quivine Kelleher, the second choice Liverpool goalkeeper yeah. um, that's played maybe five Premier League games last year, maybe a similar amount last year. He, he hasn't played a lot of big first-team games. He's been in the Cup. I think he's played like five in the Europa, five in the League Cup or whatever. So he's kind of, he's the second-choice guy. Yeah. And I just want to say that he looks like a, a very, very high-level goalkeeper. Mm-hmm. Forget about who he's behind. He's, 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 of course, he's, he's behind one of the best in the world in Allison. But they have got another tremendous goalkeeper, Rob, in all aspects. We've mentioned him, I think, in the past and other games yeah. where he stepped in and did a great job. The save to, to, to Cole Palmer, where he's instinctively guessed, really, by he's had to throw his arm in the position. He's so close to, to, to Palmer, he's had to guess where to throw his arm. Makes a brilliant save. And other saves later in the game to Conor Gallagher, I think, late in the game, I yeah, remember yeah. as well. This kid is, is amazing. Mm-hmm. I think he's mid-20s. 25. He's got a huge career ahead of him. Yeah, so you you got other clubs that, you know, those that might need a goalkeeper. Um, that experience for him today, I'm so pleased for him because it's not easy to be, even though he's fairly young as a goalkeeper at 25, to keep sitting on the bench behind, a, you know, an outstanding goalkeeper at Liverpool. I think he is miles better than what you might expect for a second-choice goalie. And Kelleher today showed that everybody is between his mentality demeanour, confidence, his, his mental state, Rob. He's never, he ain't jumping around. He's not one of them. He's pretty cold, uh, pretty calm goalkeeper, but capable of making good saves. Had tons to do with his feet as well. Never made any mistakes. I think he's, um, I think he's an, a, a really top-class goalkeeper already. It's a brilliant shout, mate. Absolutely brilliant shout because, um, again, just before uh, midweek, I was doing the, um, the Luton game, the Liverpool-Luton game, and, you know, you do your, your little notes and that. And I, and, I, and I wrote with Keller, who's in, obviously, because Alisson's picked up some muscle injuries, which is a little bit frustrating, I'm sure, for you, mm. Klopp, is I, I wrote down, Rob, worry-free number two. Like, yeah. play him in, in, in worry. You know, some some number twos come in and you think, oh, gosh, you know, can't wait to get the, the, main, the, the number one goalkeeper back in, in the sticks because it all doesn't look quite the same. He looks confident, Rob. He's, he's not dramatic. He's got a nice cool poise and presence about him. He's got the confidence of his teammates. They play back to him, Rob. They, when his shots go in, they know mm. he'll hold on to him. I think, I think it's a brilliant shout. Um, I just let me, let me pose you a question then on, on, on Keller. Well, first of all, is there a worry that he might become a target for, for somebody who might want to put him as his number one and might at some point he want to do that? And the second sort of mm. qu- second part of the question, Rob, is doesn't this also lend again to the management of Klopp? Because even if Alisson was fit, wouldn't Kelleher have played? Hasn't he often played Kelleher in these kind of games to make sure he's on top of games? And I think, Rob, not just to play, but to feel part of the group. Yeah, I think he would have played, Rob. I think he has played uh, many games. Mm, in the, played, in the, you yeah. know, I haven't got the data in front mm. of me right now. I think he's played quite a, quite a bit of it. Um, it makes sense, doesn't it, to play. If somebody as good as him, he needs to yeah. play games. Mm. Because the, the less games he plays, the more chance of him getting away. And it is a... It is a as a concern, Rob, isn't it? Because now after a game like this, just put yourself in his shoes, right? His shoes. Now, I, I th- I'm not sure how long Alisson's going to be out, so this isn't going to be immediate. But can you yeah. imagine the next time a Kelleger jumps, jumps out the side? Alisson's back, he's fit, he's playing well. Kelleger, um, Griffin Kelleher's on the bench. And he, he remembers back to a day like today and, and what it means to be in the first team when you win games and you win trophies. And I don't know, I, 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 it's impossible for us to know how yeah. satisfied he is with the status quo about being number two goalkeeper. It's not as though Allison's like reaching the end of his career, Rob, is it? I mean, he's no, still got a yeah. long way to go. And I, so I, I don't, one of those, I just don't know how satisfied he's going to be. I mean, it is a special club and he's had plenty of minutes under Liverpool. But um, listen, that's something we, we'll, yeah. we'll see. Um, I just want to give him a shout out today, Rob, for, for somebody that that's, should be regarded as being one of the best in the Premier League, even though he's a number two. That's, that's all I wanted to say on that. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.